there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. I'm Sarah Richardson. This is Jeff. This is Jeff's condo damaged by a flood. And this is what Jeff's condo looks like now thanks to lots of help from Design Inc. happen all the time. <laughs> Some are more disastrous than others. That's in the kitchen. Jeff's loft condo has been damaged by a recent flood. A real mess. And I'm going in for the rescue. Hi, Jeff, it's Sarah. Hi, come on up. Contaminated. Yikes. Holy moly. Wow, they need a lot of help in this building. Hello. Love what you've done with the place. I've never been to a flood before. Well, welcome. This is my maiden voyage. A large pipe burst during a construction project. Water and chemicals rain down into Jeff's space. The damage essentially is walls, ceiling. What was here before, carpet? This was a carpet which yeah. had to all come up. Wow. The upside, we're making Jeff's loft better than ever. If you had the choice, would you ditch the carpet and go in favor of, of hardwood instead? Would love to have hardwood. Your cabinets here are wood. Do we yeah. have to tie into this color, or would you think about changing that color? I would repaint it maybe, and maybe okay. a backsplash. You could repaint these. Did any of your furniture get damaged? No, luckily. There's some nice uh, teak pieces in there, which I like. Sure. Talk to me about color. Going a little too adventurous with color might be not my okay. style. I see some pink bowls over there. Yeah. Well, we got a woman uh, we need to keep in mind, or? Yeah, there's, uh, there's somebody around here okay. that might want to see a bit of that, but. It's still more it's masculine. still my style. That means no hot pink. <laughs> but we need a green light from the insurance company to get things rolling. Means I need the help of someone used to the fast lane, and who can pick up lunch. Thank you. Thank you. And that means Kate. You want to start the week with a challenge? Uh, you didn't tell me I was in for this. <laughs> It's looking lovely. Did you park your ark outside? Yeah. Oh, it's so sticky. You get stuck to it. It's nice and bright. It is really bright. It's nice that they've, you know, done something with an accent of color here, but why not do something that is, you know, basically you've got these different planes. So you've right. got this drop ceiling for the kitchen. This would be a nice piece to pick out. Tomorrow we'll know what's coming out of here. Right. We'll be able to see this stuff as it goes out. I can't see the forest for the trees right now. <laughs> Better just face it head on. 12 and a half. So I'm 25 here. I'm not excited about packing. That's the one thing I didn't want to do. I think we just uh, throw a stick of dynamite in the kitchen and then we'll just come back. <laughs> come back later. When I first went in, it was tough because there's nothing to draw inspiration from. These are all uh, fragile. So what I found myself doing was watching Jeff because he's obviously someone who's fashion forward. Appearance is important to him. So I think I'm gonna have to focus on Jeff for a while and try to get some reading off him as to what he would like to see in his house. The pink mixing bowls threw me for a loop. I'll make sure we get the dining room table and the old couch, which I don't think is coming back. This is practicing safe couch. Wow, talk about inconvenience. Jeff just sent these photos along because I don't know about you, but I found it hard to see what he had mm -hmm. when it was all piled up. And I just thought you and I should take a look and see what do you think we can work with, what's out. Okay. So black and white photographs, and they're nice sort of international scenes. Yep. You know, they'd either pop if we do an accent wall sure. or somewhere yep. else. He seems to be a guy who likes his sports, hence the large television. And I'm getting kind of kicking back, really lounging. The sofa, I think he's game for changing. This teak piece I think is interesting. I like the handles on it. It's great storage. The only thing is we're gonna have to find some other wood tones to go with it. We also have to pair down the vast variety of Jeff's likes. Focus his direction a bit. <laughs> it's a smorgasbord. 
Kate's busily closing in on a scheme, but it's proving to be a challenge for her, too. We've got to talk this over. Okay. Fabrics are sort of menswear inspired. Okay. I like the herringbone. When I think boy, I think durable. I think I wasn't thinking boy. I think I was thinking man. Man. Okay. Man. It's been elevated. What else you got? How about something that's got some... Uh, pizzazz? Pizzazz? None of these are quite doing it for me. They're red. Come on, that's a good red. That's a great red. Like, why not red? What is what why is not? more kind of inviting than a red sofa? While we were debating the pros and cons of Jeff, somebody was busy conning Jeff. I had noticed some things around that just didn't seem right. Some things have been moved around, and I was a little bit suspicious. So I started checking on some of the things that I had left here and uh, found out that there's a bunch of things that are missing. There was some camera bags up in here. They're still there, but no cameras. Also, there's some cash missing. So now the police have been called, and we can do some uh, dusting down for some fingerprints. The police. The chemical flood in Jeff's loft has created more of a mess than you could imagine. Talk about a kick in the teeth. He ended up getting robbed. Police are on the case, but the insurance claim is holding us up. We could have had him close to being ready to move back in by now. Instead, we're sitting here, going nowhere, waiting mm -hmm. for an insurance adjustment to happen. Let's focus on the decorative side of things. Let's focus on the kitchen, the backsplash, the kind of, and, and just think about what we can do to inject some happiness back okay. into the floodlands. We're pushing forward. Jeff's living in temporary digs, which is all the more reason to get him psyched about our plan for his place. Welcome to the rental. <laughs> I love this. This. This is so, fantastic. I think running this through the entire space. Love it. This is the fabric we'd like to use on your chairs. Okay. Well, I like them both. Did we talk about the banquet? No. Okay. How do you feel about banquets? You seem like a banquet guy to me. I am. And we felt like we need a little bit of a punch. Some of this crazy stuff in the mix. Now, would this be like accent, like again, Absolutely. pillows and things like that? Yeah. Okay. We're not going to cover the couch in this, okay, good. but the couch may be a sticking point for you. So we think this is the sofa. Holy moly. <laughs> wow, that's really red, huh? What's he gonna do? Red's a really sexy color. I'm just not sure about having it as my couch. So uh, I'm gonna have to think about it. Let's hope once he thinks about it, he likes it. Because after you and I developed this scheme, I took another look at it and I decided that this was just the only way to go. So I actually have already ordered all this. <laughs> so the sofa's in production and it's gonna be red. I'm willing to bet he's gonna love it when he sees it. And I think that it's gonna be really, really funky and I think it's worth doing and I think you've gotta take a chance. And to me, I, that red fabric just makes me happy looking at it. What else makes me happy? A final go-ahead from the insurance company. Bye-bye flood and hello fabulous. Kevin was able to spot the fact that it's actually concrete underneath. So he suggested just taking it right down to the bare concrete. That's a great idea. The compound itself is so water soluble that as soon as it's wet, it releases. So they literally spray a thin film of water on it and then just take a putty knife and start to scrape it away. And then what they're able to do is go gonna back. Be so happy he had this floor. I think so. He's gonna have hardwood floors and concrete ceilings. That's yeah, fantastic. Things look great. Yeah. Starting behind the eight ball means Kate has to take things into her own hands. I figured the drywall is right here so I can fix it, right? Already. Now it's time for Jeff to help out. It's his place, after all. Which lovely pair would you like? I think I gotta go for the shades, right? <laughs> Safety first. As long as we all look good. It's gonna be here a long time. It's gonna be that one. It feels so good! I think we need some tools. Yeah. What else do you wanna tear up? No, I think, I think I've done enough tearing today. Good thing, because... I just got a call from the painter at Jeff's place, and he wants to start at 6.15 tomorrow morning. We haven't even sampled paint, do you have we? And the paint store closes at... Um, 15 minutes from now. We better choose these colors fast so you can go home <laughs> and go to bed. Some of the best decisions are made under pressure. That's our accent. Sofa. Oh, I love our red sofa. What color are our kitchen cabinets? They're light and creamy. Yeah, so I guess you haven't nailed that down. Nope. <laughs> We're gonna use subtle shades and add drama with an accent wall. So we need five colors. And go. 
These look good together. Water chestnut, antique linen, and legend tan. That sounds very macho. I bet that's ridiculous. Of course it is. And try it against here. Do you like the DQ? Yeah, I do. A lot. Don't you? I like it in a salad. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind a it bit. grilled. Yeah. I haven't had it grilled. Oh, it's good grilled. Yeah. That's nice. Radicchio makes four. We need a kitchen cabinet color to make it five. Yeah. Meeting house. A last minute call and some pull at the paint store gets it all ready for us next morning. Not 6.15, but thereabouts. Plenty of time to make great progress. So this is the first color. It's called water chestnut. It's going to be this entire wall. And then I think we'll use the deeper one, the sizal, on off. that and on this drop. This color is only going on this wall here. I don't know. I'm, I'm fine with it. I mean, it's it's bold and that's fine. Absolutely. Right. We'll go for it. He's going to put a coat on it right now. Awesome. Wow, this looks really great. I'm amazed at how well it covered. Moving on. I thought I was going to need a drill and it was going to have to take all of the screws off, but actually, there's a little button on the back of these. It may just pop off. Looks if I can't reach. Time to call in someone tall. I hope he hasn't forgotten something. Thankfully, someone's always thinking. Making up for lost time takes all day for Kate. First paint, then kitchen, now backsplash. We had some tile left over from another project, and because we do have a tight budget on this project, I'm going to use this, and Enrique is going to cut it down for me. We thought we'd try using it a 6 by 24. And then we'll probably run some kind of banding detail, and I'll have to decide that with Sarah a little bit later. Next, cabinet hardware. Always so many choices. This guy works. The last stop, dropping off kitchen cabinet doors to be sprayed a new color. Almost there. This is my breakdown spot. My last stop of the day, and I missed him. <laughs> Kate's taking some knocks as she rescues Jeff's soggy loft. My last stop of the day, and I missed him. <laughs> but the tide starts turning Monday morning when our cabinet sprayer returns to work. And Jeff has a new toy to help remove tile from the kitchen floor. I'll do whatever it takes at this point. I'm getting kind of anxious to get home, and I want to see the place finished, too. Where's the cleanup crew? I'm strictly on demolition. And the new hardwood floor gets Jeff a few steps closer to being back at home. How's it going in here, guys? It's fast, huh? This looks nice. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I just wanted to say I'm here, and it looks amazing. Oh, good. The Thank color you. of the red is perfect. It's so rich, and the floor is looking spectacular. Well, I'm going to get out of the way of these guys, so it looks great, and uh, let's keep okay. moving forward. Okay. Terrific. Thanks. Bye. I think she was saying goodbye. <laughs> I've never been the one for long goodbyes. This is our banquette base. Correct. Yeah. And then we're going to do a single seat cushion on top, right? Do, were you thinking we'd do it in the crazy pattern or use a solid on the seat and then just put the pattern, the crazy pattern on the back? That's what I was thinking, crazy pattern on the back, mostly due to the quantity that we have. Right, we only have two yards and we wanted to see it. Yeah. I got some great buttons. You got me buttons? I tried to find macho buttons. <laughs> Here's what I came up with. Exist? Yeah, I think so. Oh, these are sharp. These are coconut, faux tortoise shell, no tortoises were harmed in the making of these buttons. <laughs> we can get some nice different textures like that in here. There. Jeff's black appliances are just not working with our scheme. So we're cladding them in stainless steel. Quick, inexpensive, and dazzling. Take a look. Instant appliance upgrade. So I'm thinking there is an official hex on Jeff's loft. Now what? It took me all morning to get the tiler organized. It's now 10 to 6 and there's still no tile on the backsplash because I had to drop off some more supplies to him and there was a fire at the building next door so the road was closed so I couldn't get down. Then got a call from Vic that he had accidentally hit one of the re exposed receptacles in the backsplash with his metal tape measure and has now blown the whole apartment. I didn't feel any of it because you know why? This has rubber on it and it insulated everything. 
and they can't get the power back on. It's alive! I'm just gonna eat candy. It makes me feel better. <laughs> Good one, yeah. Thankfully, Victor's no worse for wear. But we're in for another shock. What does the condo board have to do with anything? Well, I, th I don't know. I mean, initially they were upset with the filming that was happening, saying that that wasn't permitted. But I think because Jeff chose to ignore that, that they've now taken it a step farther. So I'll read you some Very stuff. official. Is it all yes. just legalese or yeah. does it actually come like, from a lawyer? Here, section it looks like 4. An email to me. To subsection E, no boundary, load bearing or partition wall, floor, door or window, toilet, bathtub, wash basin, sink, heating, plumbing or electrical installation contained in or forming part of a unit shall be installed, removed, extended or otherwise altered without the prior written consent of the board. What? Consequently, we have the right to prohibit both the film crew and the repairman designated by the film company from working in the building. I've renovated lots of condos and I've never run into this. What do we do? I mean, we're, we, we thought we were in the home stretch of having this thing, you know, wrapped up shortly and I can't even get any trades in there. Oh, uh, well, I'll get to the bottom of this. Hey Jeff, it's Sarah calling. I'm going to be calling the director of the board of uh, directors for the building tonight. Okay. The Tyson's looking good though, by the way. Oh, good. <laughs> I'd love to come and see it, but this says I'm not allowed. <laughs> Let me know when visiting hours are back on. We've been locked out of Jeff's condo. We have the right to prohibit the film crew from working in the building. But a well-placed phone call. Hey Jeff, it's Sarah calling. I'm gonna be calling the director of the board of uh, directors for the building tonight. Okay. And much time later, we're finally back in business. Um, we are able to work in there again. We lost a few weeks, huh? Yeah, we probably lost a week and a half. Jeff's supposed to move back in in two days and his place is still nowhere near ready. Truthfully, I'm not feeling optimistic. We've got two moving companies delivering Jeff's old and new stuff. And Tommy and Natalie are giving us some much needed help. We brought some muscle, Miss Stewart. I don't think it's quite as bad as it looks. No, I don't think it is either. That looks great. Oh yeah, and then there's the hex. I just lost the power. This happened the other day too when we were doing some work in here. Must be the main breaker. It just must have been, there it goes. We're back in business. Great, allows me to start vacuuming. My guilty pleasure. And here's a place where I can truly indulge. It's getting late, and we're all getting a bit punchy. You just surpassed our 10 in the design world. Time to call it a day, but we're in good shape to finish Jeff's loft the next morning. Sure, what's a TV interview when you've got tons of other things to do? There's another new addition to the apartment that I'm excited about too. We had to get a little plasma TV to put on the wall. Did he say little? I'm not even sure if Kate knows how big the TV is. It should be interesting. Isn't that lovely? When we first walked into Jeff's unit, it was messy. Really, his life had been turned upside down. We really wanted to create a fresh start for him, and I think that drove us to wanting to go for an entirely new color palette something more intense and something more exciting. So we decided to go for red. And fortunately, he liked it. I don't know what to say. The red couch is gorgeous. Kate and I zeroed in on some fabrics that were really kind of modern, really jarring graphics. We didn't go crazy with them. We just used them as accents. But it made a huge difference to the overall impact that it has in this place. I prefer this one. Agreed. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Done. By exposing the concrete ceiling, by installing this beautiful wood floor, spraying the kitchen cupboards, fixing up the island, and putting in a new backsplash, that opened up a huge window of opportunity for us to inject a greater level of industrial style, of modern design, and of quality finishes. We got stainless steel panels cut and we put them on the top of the island on the refrigerator and on the dishwasher. What a great add-on for anybody who's sort of feeling like they don't have the kitchen that they want. Looks like uh, we spent thousands and thousands of dollars in the kitchen and we really didn't do that. It was, uh, it was just really doing some smart design work in there and it's functional now, so it's great.
We changed all the furniture around. I always feel that you should sit as close to the light as possible. And I'm pretty sure that as a young guy, he spends more time lounging on his sofa than he does sitting at his dining room table. And I also think that it's nice to have the dining area right adjacent to the kitchen. The way they've changed the layout is interesting because they've made the space look so much bigger. Everybody's approach to a disaster is different. I mean, getting in here as a result of a flood is no different than anybody renovating. Everybody sort of loses their cool at some point, almost thinks, why did I get into this in the first place? But seeing it done at the end, that's when you realize, okay, it was actually all worth it. I'd love to entertain. I think the first thing we're gonna have a dinner party, take this place for a spin and see how it works.